Hey everyone, I'm Kristen, also known as Vol and Vine on Ravelry and Instagram. Um, I'm also the host of the Yarngasm podcast and the hand dyer behind Vol and Vine Yarns. And many of you have been asking me to demonstrate how I spin on a drop spindle. So I thought I would just do a quick little video tutorial uh, showing you how I do that. Uh, just a little disclaimer, I am by no means an expert drop spindler. Uh, I don't consider myself one. Uh, I can definitely recommend some excellent tutorials and teachers for you to check out on the web or uh, books. Uh, but I would just, I just thought that I would um, show you how I like to drop spindle. Um, so right behind me, I have a couple of my favorite drop spindles. Uh, this first one is by the Spanish Peacock and it has this really cool laser cut um, snowflake on it and it's very lightweight. I prefer my drop spindles to be lightweight because I like spinning very fine um, fine singles so I can get a finer lighter yarn such as lace weight or fingering weight. And on here I just have some hobbledehoy fiber. Uh, I believe it's a merino, I'm not entirely sure so don't quote me on it. But um, here is some of the bat, it was from a little mini batling um, that Hobbledehoy sell, um, is very well known for. So you can see here that I already have it uh, on the go. So I just have it hanging here and then I take my fiber, make sure that it's not really hanging into, that it won't get caught into the spin. And sometimes it helps to pre-draft your fiber a little bit. So, you know, depending on how thin you want it to spin. And I might, you can see it's a little loose, <laughs> but uh, I might give it a little spin first before I attach any fiber, just because the single might have gotten a little, a wee bit loose since I last spun on it. But um, I just kind of overlay the fiber onto the last single that I spun. Make sure my fiber isn't hanging into the twist and I just spin clockwise and then let, give that a little spin, draft up, pull, and yeah, I just let it go. And usually I just keep doing this until uh, the spindle drops or it reaches the floor or just stops spinning. And then, you know, I can either twist it again and let it go for a little bit longer or, um, you know, just keep going. And then once it stops, I do what it's what is called a butterfly. So I um, to make it easier to spin onto the, make the single spin easier onto the cop. I do this little butterfly motion just to wrap the singles around my thumb and my pinky. There are other there are many ways to do this. This is just the way that I learned how to do it. Um, so I unwrap it from the hook and then I just kind of wind it onto the cop, going and going and going. Then yep, yeah, and keep spinning. And if you're interested in learning how to drop spindle or learning some expert tips, I highly recommend Respect the Spindle, which is a book by Abby Franquemont. Um, I can definitely put this in the show notes and link to the book on Amazon in case you're curious. But yeah, so it's very relaxing. No, no crazy method to my madness. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and that's how I spin on a regular top whirl spindle. Um, and then I have over here, a Turkish spindle, uh, which is by Subterranean Woodworks. It's a, it's a micro, one of his micro um, Turkish spindles, which I am really enjoying lately. Uh, I've had this for, for quite some time in my stash. I only recently fell in love with spinning on a Turkish spindle just because I love the motion of it. Um, and a Turkish spindle has four arms and you just wrap the yarn around the arms, or there's a method to wrapping the, your singles around the arms and it creates a little turtle kind of like this. This is a finished turtle and I will definitely include a close up of it. Um, and you can basically pull, uh, there's a center pull and then an outer pull and you take those and you ply them together to create yarn or a two ply yarn or however you want to create it. So here I have some fiber by, or it's a Rolag. <laughs> this is a Rolag by uh, Ren and Ollie and she's in, has an Etsy shop, which I can also link to and like I said, I give it a little twist first. And what's different about uh, the Turkish spindle compared to the top roll spindle is that you have to create a little hitch uh, to connect the yarn. And there's a little um, point right here which prevents the half hitch from sliding off. Some, ha some Turkish spindles have that, some don't, and you just have to 
hope your half hitch doesn't uh, <laughs> come off. But same, same idea, you just spin it and then it's gonna draft upward. Yeah. So, and basically the same story, you know, just up, up. Probably not even seeing that on camera, so I'm gonna move my hands down a little bit. Um, I'm just give that another spin. So yeah, I'll try and include close-ups. And then I just do my little butterfly. And then the way I unhitch it is I just kind of, you know, use either this finger or take my thumb and then make sure my pinky just comes in a little bit and then unhook it. And then I'm doing the basket weave on this. So I'm going over two arms about like five times and then I rotate it once and then just do the same thing over two arms about five times. And then once I start reaching the top of my, um, once I, I don't have enough yarn left, uh, singles left over, I just take my thumb and then make another half hitch, oops, <laughs> make another half hitch again. And then I just keep going. And that's pretty much all there is to it. butterfly, unhitch it, and then go over. I think I already went over about four times, so I'm just gonna rotate this once and go over the next arm and over two. And it creates this really cool, um, kind of like woven pattern around the shaft. So that is how I spin. I hope you found that informative, uh, helpful, or entertaining, or maybe inspiring uh, to maybe pick up your own drop spindle and learn how to spin because it is really fun and relaxing. Um, and if you have any questions or feedback about this video, uh, please feel free to drop me a line in the Yarngasm Ravelry thread. I always love hearing from you guys. Um, so yeah, that said, happy knitting, spinning, and I will see you next time. Bye.